Hey, how's it going guys? We're back with another Star Wars reaction video. If you're new channel, welcome. This one is called Every Sith Rank and Specialization Explained. Uh, and again, shout out and credit goes to Red5 for providing this video and go make sure to go check out his channel, Red5, because he does amazing content. He does, uh, I mean, basically it's all Star Wars. That's why he's called Red5, but uh, he does amazing videos and everything. So make sure to go check out his channel. Now for Sith, rank and specialization um when it comes to ranks i do know there are just a few uh based on uh the movies and star wars the old republic games but i don't know which one he's gonna go off of but if we're just going off of like uh the prequels like episode one all the way to well excuse me episode one two three four five and six there's only two the rule of two by darth bane a master and apprentice so that's the only ranks i can think of now for specialization, if we're talking about uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, there are warriors, there are um, inquisitors, and there are... Oh, man, crap. <laughs> That's all I can remember. <laughs> so anyways, you know what, we're just gonna get into the video because Red 5 will explain it. <laughs> The Sith Order, the most infamous wielders of red lightsabers and the dark side of the Force. We recently made a video mm -hmm. examining all the various ranks and specializations of the I saw Jedi that video Order, already, so make sure to go check it out, guys. Enjoy. So, we felt it was only right to take a look at their sworn enemies. The Sith aren't nearly as linear or cookie cutter as the Jedi when it comes to titles or ranks, especially dating back to the Old Republic, but that's not going to stop us. We'll cover the main titles seen throughout the films and also the lesser known legends ones. This is every single Sith rank and specialization explained. A Sith apprentice was an individual trained mm -hmm. by a Sith master to use the dark side. Jedi almost always began their training at a very young age, whereas this was less set in stone for the Sith, as many were fallen Jedi themselves. Darth Sidious took Maul as his apprentice when Maul was still a child, but also took on Tyrannus when he was in his 60s. Although Darth Bane's rule of two mandated that only two Sith could exist at any given time, a master and apprentice, it was the duty of a Sith apprentice to one day slay their master and take that place for themselves, going on to master their own apprentice and pass on the teachings of the dark side. Such a model ensured the Sith grew in cunning and power with each generation and kept to the shadows rather than repeat the infighting created by having too many Sith at one time. The Sith master, of mm -hmm. course, instructed the Sith apprentice in the arts of the dark side well of done, the Darth Force. Bane passing along their knowledge. Should an apprentice be killed, the Sith Master could replace them. If the Master also felt they'd found a potentially more powerful apprentice, they could kill their current one and replace them. The Rule of Two always assured that the two surviving Sith Lords were as powerful as possible, furthering the line until they could fulfill their grand plan of wiping out the majority of the Jedi Order. Darth was both a title and name given to every single Sith Lord preceding their Sith name. We don't have yep. an exact meaning or origin for the title of Darth in universe, but behind the scenes, George Lucas has said Darth <laughs> is a variation of Dark, though he has also explained the inspiration behind the name, specifically when referring to Darth Vader, were the words Death and Invader. Sith Lord or Dark Lord of the Sith huh, were similar in meaning to Darth, referring to both the Master and Apprentice under the Rule of Two. In the distant past of the Old Republic, the Sith Empire was led by several Sith Lords during their constant wars with the Jedi Order. However, the Dark Lord of the Sith was at one point considered to be the greatest and most powerful of the Sith Lords. Today's video is sponsored by Ona Saber. <laughs> they sent us over one of their most popular lightsabers to show you. This is Dude, the I might have to uh, check out the Jedi. Ona uh, Saber has an incredible uh, Ona deal Saber going because on for the month of so far January. what he's if been showing looks amazing. Lightsaber, you'll also get a free Padawan lightsaber. Simply add both a replica and Padawan lightsaber to your cart and the Padawan lightsaber will be made free at checkout. You don't want to miss this. Their replica Luke Skywalker lightsaber is as close as you can get to wielding the Jedi Knight's weapon from Episode 6. The SN Pixel V4 soundboard features 27 different sound fonts from not only Luke Skywalker, but others like Obi-Wan Kenobi, Darth Maul, Ahsoka, 
and so many more. The blade can be switched to 12 different colors and 11 different ignition effects. It's also equipped with smooth swing, flash on clash, tip drag, and blaster blocks. If you want to grab this beautiful lightsaber for yourself, head over to onasaber.com slash red5luke. The link will be in the description and pinned comment. Now, back to the video. Sith Assassin had two different meanings. In canon, they were basically a step down from Sith Apprentice during the time Ventress of the was one of them. Two. Think Asajj Ventress as an acolyte under Count Dooku, who was still technically an apprentice in his own right. In the Old Republic, a Sith assassin specialized in stealth and melee combat. They were known to primarily wield saber staffs in combat, and some were even adept at concealing themselves with the Force, preferring okay, to he's ambush to get into the Old the Republic. shadows rather than engaging them in open combat. Sith alchemists practiced Sith alchemy, using oh, this right, Sith alchemist. magic to make all sorts of creations, such as mutants known as Sith spawn. They were also able to manipulate physical objects, as seen when a Sith alchemist reforged Kylo Ren's helmet. The Sith Arai was an ancient Sith title that became the subject of a legend prophesizing the coming of a being that would lead and destroy the Sith, but in doing so, would make the Sith more powerful than ever before. It was essentially the Sith version of the Jedi's prophecy of the Chosen One. The foretold Sith Arai was, of course, Darth Bane, who fulfilled the prophecy through the creation of the Rule of Two. Sith Battle Lord was a rank Sorry, by a bird warriors flew who right next to my window. Darth Riven. Yes, Riven with an I, and not Revan with an E. Battle Lords were leaders within Riven's Riven. armies, and through a series of complex rituals involving the application of Sith magic, were bonded to the troops that they commanded with the Force. Sith Blade Master was a title on par with Jedi Battle Master. It was given to the lightsaber combat instructor at the Sith Academy on Korriban. They supposedly knew all lightsaber forms to a degree of excellence so they could instruct pupils in this art. We can only assume that these Sith lightsaber classes and sparring sessions resulted in a lot more deaths than those which took place at the Jedi Temple. Caretaker was a position in the Lost Tribe of the Sith, the official keeper of Sith lore. Think like the okay, Jedi Okay, this, I don't know. A corrector was an elite officer that served Sith Lord Daemon, assigned with carrying out law enforcement duties and enforcing his twisted philosophy. Sith Emperor was the title belonging to the ruler of the Sith Empire, held by Sith Lords like Vitiate, Vitiate. Voron, and Crate. Yes, Palpatine was also an Emperor, but that referred to Emperor of the Galaxy, not the Sith. Emperor's Hands were top-secret special operatives trained in the Force by Emperor Palpatine himself. They were so secret, they usually had no knowledge of each other's existence. M Mara Jade, Mara Jade is Mara the best-known I mean. Emperor's Hand, who later became a Jedi and married Luke Skywalker. The Fist served as the supreme military commander for the One Sith under Darth Krayt. Grand Lord was the title held by the ruler of the Circle of Lords in the Lost Tribe of the Sith. They were essentially the Sith Order's equivalent to Jedi Grand Master, the rank held by Yoda. The High Lord was a presiding member of the Circle of Lords, kind of like a Jedi Council member but for the Lost Tribe of the Sith. The Grand Lord's hands were similar to the Emperor's hands we mentioned earlier. These hands served as spies and secret agents of the ruling Grand Lord who operated outside of conventional protocols. A Sith hopeful was what many Sith on Korriban called an individual who aspired to enroll in the Sith Academy. Many were individuals who sought a better lifestyle or to get in on what they saw as the winning side of the war, while others were also former Jedi who had been seduced by the dark side of Force. Sith warriors were the lightsaber combat Sith specialists of the Sith This is Empire, what I played in the game. with the task of destroying the Sith Empire's enemies and enforcing Sith domination across the entire galaxy. Warriors had little patience for careful planning, relying on pure power and intimidation to attain their goals. Sith Inquisitors specialized in force abilities as opposed to lightsaber combat, like Sith Warriors, contrasting in a similar way to Jedi Guardians and Jedi Consulars. Sith Inquisitors were most feared for their ability to channel the energy of the dark side, making them a spectacle to behold on the battlefield. While warriors usually wielded standard lightsabers, Inquisitors tended to opt for double-bladed lightsabers. These are not to be confused with the Imperial Inquisitors, who were closer to Sith Assassins or Acolytes that served the Galactic Empire and hunted down Jedi that had survived Order 66. 
Sith Knight was a title bestowed upon a former Sith apprentice who had completed their training under a master or other knight at the time of the Jedi Civil War. Sith Magnus was a title claimed by self-anointed rulers of the most ancient of Sith. Darth Malak held this title oh. during the Jedi Civil War. Magnus could be translated as All-Powerful, Lord of Lords, or Emperor. Sith Marauders were Sith warriors often responsible for the All most marauders, brutal yeah. acts carried out by the Sith Empire. A Sith Marauder's physical prowess oh, dude, he was looks a cool. dark side technique fueled by hatred, rage, and cruelty. Most Marauders could duel an average Jedi in single combat and walk away with the win. They specialized in using two lightsabers at once. Sith Juggernauts were Sith warriors known for wearing armor that provided extra protection in battle. Juggernauts usually had an intense muscle build, which helped them in combat. The Master of the Sith Temple was a rank held by the Sith tasked with running the Sith Temple on the planet Kesh. This title also likely existed for other Sith based on other temples. The temple looks Master really cool. Blades were Old Republic <clears throat> weapon masters that won 10 or more duels against lightsaber-wielding opponents. The title signified the user's skill in defeating Jedi or other Sith. Sith minions were the lowest members of the Sith Order. Some were not even Force-sensitive, and they often worshipped the Sith Lords as gods. Sith cultists, as seen in The Rise of Skywalker, were a well-known type of Sith minion. But that about does it for Sith ranks and specializations. That explains a few things. Did we miss any out? Almost certainly. As we mentioned off the top, Sith ranks are not nearly as streamlined as those of the Jedi Order. In fact, many different titles or ranks often referred to the same thing in practice. But if you feel there was an important omission, tell us about it in the comments and we might cover it in a future video. Also, feel free to let us know which rank Darth is Maul your is so favorite cool. or the most interesting. Come join us to chat more at our community Discord server. Link. All right, there you guys have it. So that was every single <clears throat> Sith rank and specialization explained by Red5. So shout out credits goes out to Red5 again. So it looks like he went from the movies and the Clone Wars TV show to uh, what was shown in the Star Wars The Old Republic game. Because in the game, there are uh, classes that you can play as a Sith. I played as the Sith Warrior, but there were, now that he mentioned it, there were Sith Warriors, Sith Inquisitor, Sith um, uh, Assassin, Juggernaut, and all that. So, oh, and Marauder. Uh, I think I'm missing one, but either way. <clears throat> that's what he got into and I'm really glad that he got into it because it brought back a few memories when I played the game but uh, I did play the game on the channel some of the episodes are here but the reason I stopped is because they used every single copyright music and in songs so that's why it was so difficult to edit but anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, to answer Red 5's question actually before I end it uh, the rank, I don't know about rank, but specialization I would choose would still be Warrior, the same one that I played in the game. So that's my favorite. Put down in the comments below which class or a specialization you would choose. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop another video. And thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.